Hey guys. <clears throat> Shall I try that again? Hi guys. <laughs> oh dear. Um, it's been a slow day. Had mum come up lunchtime because uh, she had a hair appointment. Put my hair up. Uh, made a quick walk round town. And I don't know about anywhere else in the UK, but charity shops in this town seem to be quite expensive. Um, which personally I think some of the prices they're asking for um, A. Donated goods and B. Second hand goods, used goods, is quite extortionate. There's some jackets I was looking at today, and I could have probably gone out and got a jacket brand new for the same price. It was ridiculous. Um, some charity shops are actually far worse than others. Bernardo's is the one in town, that's the worst for that. Their prices are absolutely ridiculous. I can't remember the last time I actually bought anything out of there. Um, which actually reminds me, I've actually come to the conclusion I could do with some more decent t-shirts because I've had some of these for so long, they are starting to fade in colour and they are getting tatty and I've got some with holes on the seams and whatnot. And I did have a look in charity shops and they t-shirts seem to be around about £3 which is that's not a bad price, really, for a used T-shirt. Um, just some charity shops just seem to want to charge an arm and a leg for certain things. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they are worth what they're charging. I don't know. It might not. You know, it might just be me. Anyway, I've decided when I get paid next week, I'm going to do a bit of T-shirt shopping. Um, so, as I said, I've come to the conclusion that I could do with some. Because I've got several in there. Some have got paint stains on. Some have got oil stains on, you know. So they're only really fit for when I'm getting dirty with something, you know. Doing bicycles. Helping my friends out. So I guarantee when I get called to help a friend out, I'm going to get dirty. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> Nearly every time. I'm the same when I go over to mum's. I go over clean, come back dirty. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I went into, into um, QD stores today. So if you remember, I said I wanted to find some um, either LED or CFL spotlight bulbs, reflector bulbs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and QDs have got a selection of LED bulbs and they've got some LED versions of these. Um, they're four ninety nine each, which is not actually a bad price considering I can get smaller, lower wattage ones in Roy's, around the corner from QD's, for the same price if not more. But <laughs> yeah, but I've upgraded these two to LED bulbs, so I'll just give them a flick. So, uh, well, as you can see, they're actually pretty bright. Um, they're 9 watt LED lights, and according to the packet, they are the equivalent to a 60 watt normal light bulb. And looking at that light output, I'd say that is actually pretty accurate for them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another couple to put in here, because... Uh, I did try that, and yes, they were bright, but they don't seem to spread the light as much. Um, however, I could, in fact, change my lighting, because Status, the company that produces um, those LED bulbs and CFL bulbs, they do a CFL version of these as well, which is cheaper, but um, they weren't as bright, which is why I got the... Um, LED ones, or well, one of the reasons. The other reason is these are actually more energy efficient. These are two ratings better on the um, energy scale that they put on the boxes. Um, I, they also do a standard traditional style light bulb 
in LED form as well. I think it's the same wattage, 60 watt. Um, so I could try those, you know, on a couple of those, one either end, um, in a standard bayonet fit. And it's a lot, pretty much like what I had before, you know, I'll have a piece of a plank of wood come out from the shelf with the um, bulb stuck in it, but the problem is they're going to hang over these. Mm. Um, I don't know. I could, when I get paid next, grab another couple of LED spot bulbs. Um, I don't know. I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, and if Lidl still do their LED bulbs, because they do some R50 LED bulbs, they're only 23 watt. I can't remember what that is in um, ordinary incandescent light bulbs. Um, um, not incandescent light bulbs, LED light bulbs, sorry. Uh, well, I don't know how well it's going to light this hallway up, because I was thinking of putting them in there. But then again, that could actually wait, because I don't really use the hallway light that often. And if it is, it's only on for a short period of time. But, as, as um, Tesco's motto says, every little helps. <laughs> so, yeah, this is actually lighting up this corner quite well. It's lighting up this table nicely. Pretty much the same as um, one of those standard filament lamps down there. These are 60 watt, I think. Or are they 40 watt? I might be 40 watts. Actually, I can't remember. No, they are 60 watts. Because I put a couple of 60 watts in there. Can't see on that one. Now, without the magnifying glass, what about this one? Does it say it on this one? Yep. Yeah, 60 watts. Things of the past, now. Things of the past. I should, actually, before I go on to that, the middle bulb is now different up there. Because in one of the charity shops we were in, they um, actually had one of those um, status CFL lamps on the shelf that someone had donated. And they only wanted 50p for it, so uh, I bought that as well. So... There it is. I'll just prove that is a CFL. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, what did they say that was a 9 watt? I know 8 watts is usually the equivalent to about a 40 watt light bulb. Um, so yeah, I've unscrewed the other two, but I will get another two for this. That allow me to use a lot less power. I could stick more LEDs in it, but then ones are actually too bright for that application up there. Because I don't want that to be bright. I want it to be dim. I could stick a dimmer on it, actually, but... No, I can't. Because them CFLs are not dimmable, I don't think. Which is a bugger. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Ah, here we go. Let's have a sort out of these, uh... Oh, motherboards. I've got to please my neighbour, me doing that on the floor. Uh, but then again, nothing pleases him. He's a grumpy old bugger half the time. Always, com always complaining about something. You know, he's, um... Always going to council office meetings. Town council meetings, because... I know the public can, and he's always complaining, no matter what the town council do. <laughs> Even if it isn't the town council's fault, he still complains. But <laughs> I'm just going to go through these and uh, decide which ones I want to keep and try to uh, breathe life into, and which ones I don't. I think I might have found out the problem with this one. You see that? It's warped. So, that's a no. Although, I'm not going to put that in the box yet, because 
We'll take the processor off and the button cell out of it. Right. I do want to bring some life into some of these, so... I'm just going to check the... Oh, this one's got a bloated cap. few bloated caps on it, actually. Um, what are the others like? Because I could swap caps around, you see. Um, now that I've got my desk cleared in the bedroom, I can do that. Because I'm, I could pretty much guarantee looking at these caps as the problem. That one's actually started to leak. Yeah. All of these ones are all right. It's all the ones around the memory. I wonder if uh, something went titties up with the uh, memory. But yeah, let's see. One, two, three. Or five, so not actually that many. If I actually keep these, I'm sure I could make a good. Actually, I think I will keep them for the time being because I can uh, rescue capacitors off other boards. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with this one. Just give me the jumpers. Jumpers are always handy. Get off, stupid thing. One more. Anything else? Oh, there's a chip in the board there. Plug-in chip. A plug-in BIOS chip. Ooh. Right, that can go there to have that pulled out. Ouch. Have a look through this one. I can't see no obvious damage. I may keep hold of it. Well, I'm going to keep hold of that one. I think it's the same with this one. I couldn't see. There's no... Nope, no warpage in the board. Memory slot's clear. Processor and everything on it. It's just that when I powered it up, I couldn't get no life out of it, so... Hmm. Ah, I'm going to see the BIOS reset jumper. Okay. Lay that in there. <laughs> Another heap of crap. It's got a bunch of. Uh... Ooh. There's some questionable caps on this one. Some of them look alright, but the ones down this end here, where that choke is, um, they look questionable. Um, so I think that's going to be a be one for the junk. I'm not going to trust it. Um, yeah. It's not going to go in the junk pile. What have we got here? We've got one here, some large cat. They're too big, though. No, I might pull them off. Oh, it's got a lithium cell on there. It's going to have to come out of there if it's charged. <laughs> it may not be charged. Yeah, I forgot about this one as well. Uh, it's got Boris chip on it as well. Separate one. Mm. Might be able to salvage some capies off that. That's this one. This one is a Dell. An old Dell, from the look of it. Mm. Oh, it's broken. Okay, so that's another one to salvage some caps off of. And a few other bits. Get off. Yeah, that three core. It is. Got a use for that. Ah, um, this is when I started to recycle caps off of. Which I've actually still got... Cool, my voice went squeaky for a second there, didn't it? I've actually still, um... Oh. <laughs> Just snap that one off. You know, one of the pins are bent, they no good. Yeah, um... 
forgotten what the hell I was going to say now. Hmm. Well, actually, if I can pull off some faulty caps, I suppose I could search them online and buy some brand new replacements. No, I want to learn electronics, so I might as well start somewhere. I, saw, I can't remember who said it now, but there's a couple of people I watch on YouTube have said, you know, if it's if it's already not working, you're not going to make the damn thing worse, are you? So, might as well have a go. Yeah, this one's another one for the definite scrap pile. A few, um, few things I want to pull off of those. Ooh. Yeah, this board ain't going to work because uh, that capacitor has been bent and it's leaked out the bottom. So, ain't no good. It might work if I replace that cap, which I've got similar boards here with similar caps on, you know. I could, uh, or it could just fall straight off. Ah, that is one thing I'm going to have to get, um, I've just remembered. And that's um, solder wick. So I hate using solder suckers, and I think I could clean the uh, pads up a lot better if I had uh, some solder wick. Oh! I've never seen jumpers like that before. So, what value was that? For 200. 1200, rather. Really? There's some more damaged caps on here, so I don't know if I can... So I actually feel a bit loose, to be honest. That one does. Ah. The solder is loose. Yeah. Okay. That might be why this one doesn't work then. If I had a dodgy cap up there that was loose. Yeah, look, the solder is loose as well. There's this one's doing the exact same thing. Maybe if I just retack them joints then. And uh <laughs> yeah, I think the solder's broken. That could be why this isn't working then. So that might be another po possible um, salvage. I'll put the uh, jumper block I pulled off back on, just in case. Right, so that can go in the um, salvage pile. Um. I probably could actually salvage most of these boards if I really, really wanted to. Just go through them and see if I could find, you know, loose caps, blown caps. Because like I can see, I can see some very um, suggestive ones here. One, two. Like I said, that one's leaking. Because these would actually be very good to make a, um, a Windows 98 PC with, to be honest. Plenty of upgrade slots to do my audio with, so I wouldn't have to worry about getting the onboard crap to work. Right, and that one can go in there. That one's got to be stripped out. Uh, I'm going to have a go at stripping this one out as well, because I don't need that. Um... Yeah, this one's got some suggestive, poor-looking caps in places as well. And whatever the hell that was, so it don't look too... <laughs> too nice. Mm. I actually think this one's just a straight chuck-in-the-bin job. Well, I salvaged that BIOS chip. But, uh... Apart from that... Ooh, all the jumpers have already gone. There's a bent capacitor there. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't think I'll trust that. That's just a straight chuck out. What did I say with this one? I think I'm going to have to go. Actually, there is still quite a few salvageable caps on that one, so that can go in that part. Some large ones on this one. Some large ones over here. It doesn't matter about physical size, just so long as they work. Or are the same rating, I should say. Um, what do I do with this one? Yeah. Yeah. It's rather grubby and rather crappy looking, isn't it? That's not worth it, is it? I don't even think it's really worth salvaging anything off of that. Okay. So I think... Yeah. That's another... Ooh, hello. Oh, no, it's just my imagination. Right, so there's a handful of capacitors on this one to salvage. No guarantee they're actually any good, and I haven't got any way of uh, testing them, but... Oh, well. <laughs> um, so, I don't know what the issue is with this one. I'm looking at the caps, and they look absolutely fine. Uh, aren't any... Because sometimes, if they've got knocked, you know, and a... I don't want to feel a bit loose. Uh, maybe the dirt on them, you know, there could be some dirt or corrosion on them that's causing a short. But these caps on here do look good, and there is lots of them. So, I do believe... Is it? Ooh. This has got a BIOS reset thingy here, so... I can't remember how to do it. I can't know if you're supposed to take it off completely or move it. Oh well, I think I will actually keep hold of this one for the time being. And if I can't actually breathe any life into it, then that'll go. I would like to salvage something out of this bloody lot. I know I only paid about a tenner for the lot, but that's not the point. Right. So that's the pile of boards I've got to salvage stuff from. It's an empty tub that can go in the bin, and that's the tub to keep. A handful of jumpers. They're always handy to have. <sighs> uh, oh, pardon me. Oh, I need to keep that cap. Just as a reminder of what I need for that board, so I'm going to lay that on there. There's no doubt one of them other boards have uh, got one. Oh crap, just found another one. Oh no, that was a different one. Don't need that one. <laughs> Can I hear noises out there? Ah. Uh. Oh well. I doubt I'll find that when I empty the box of Lego. <laughs> that just landed straight in the top of one. Hey, right. Okay, lay those on there. Yeah, I've got the board, the, the board, the table to sit at here with the song and everything on it, so I might as well make use of it. I don't have solder wick yet. So I would, I'd just like that as an option, to be honest. So I can either use that or solve the sucker. Got a couple of them on there. Uh, I suppose push come to shove. If I really did need some um, caps, I could get them from there. I, know I could easily go and buy them, but I want to practice soldering and desoldering, so. I might as well just try and salvage some and try and get them working that way. They're either going to work or they're not, so <laughs> it's good practice.
Anyway, that is it for this video. So, uh, if you like it, give it a good thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a good thumbs down. The choice is entirely yours. Or you could just, could just ignore the buttons. It's up to you. Wonder ignore the buttons, ignore the buttons. <laughs> I'm not fast either way. Um, subscribe for more daily videos. I do try to get them up daily. No, you know, there's no time when I put them up. It's just when I remember to upload one. Or when I get chance to upload them. But, yeah, it's near enough a video a day. And, uh, if you like Lego, subscribe to the Lego channel. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. It's much appreciated. And, uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.